Using science to make tasty things? We're going to be using liquid nitrogen to try to cook things. Sort of. We're going to be making liquid nitrogen ice cream and liquid nitrogen marshmallows. But first, if you enjoy science, fun, or yourself, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Even though this is going to be more focused on fun than science, we're going to be using science to make fun. Subscribe! <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Science. Science cooking, yeah. Mm. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we're cooking, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we found a couple of experiments online that really just look too cool not to try. So we thought we'd just film ourselves doing them as well. Let's start with some marshmallows. We're going to fill a bowl with marshmallows and then soak them solid with liquid nitrogen and then try to eat them and see what happens. Whoops! Yeah. Careful! Run away! <laughs> okay, that was much more full than I thought. Okay, come back. I promise that'll only happen a few times. Okay, so. It's fine! It's fine! <laughs> Just really soak them up. Whoa! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're getting there. <laughs> this is dangerous stuff. Take it seriously. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Woo! <laughs> okay, it's good. It's just good. <clears throat> we're fine. Okay. They're floating in a sea of liquid nitrogen. So currently these marshmallows are just about 300 degrees below freezing. You wanna have one? Oh. <laughs> okay, one for you, one for me. Um, ha, ha. <laughs> Ooh, those are cold. <laughs> it's like all the worst parts of eating ice. <laughs> ah, so cold. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it gives me shivers. Not in a good way. What a terrible party favor. Okay. Don't do that. That no. is stupid. This cloud that you're seeing, this is not actually nitrogen gas. This cloud is water vapor from the air condensing, going from a warm environment to a cool environment. What's next? Let's break some of my wife's flowers. <laughs> yes. Cooking number two, we're going to freeze flowers because that has nothing to do with cooking <laughs> but hey what the hey let's do it because we got our my wife's flowers here she thinks i bought them for her <laughs> oh what are you what are you scared of <laughs> nope that's cold stuff right there okay we'll just let that boil down here for a few seconds okay let's pick a really nice flower Okay, now just squish it. <gasps> that is so cool. So cool. Wow. This is turning into a little bit more of just experiments, which is <laughs> awesome. So we got whipping cream here. Oh, wow, that's fascinating. Okay. Interesting. Look, there's some pieces there. Let's just... <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Huh. It makes your breath look like a dragon. Here, I'll I'll eat a big one here. Let's oh, try this. Oof. Ready? Ready? <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was really cool. I don't want to eat one that big. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That's actually really tasty too. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to eat this because as soon as we take the whipping cream out of here, the liquid nitrogen evaporates and boils away so quickly, we're not actually putting any liquid nitrogen into our mouths. Ooh. 
Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh. Mm. Now we're going to try and make those little ice cream dots. So the way we've done that is we've just taken some ice cream and we've left it out on the counter. So now we have melted ice cream. So first step to melt the ice cream. Next, we have to put it into a little bit of a dropper. So we'll just use our scientific -y stuff. So the basic theory behind those little drops of liquid nitrogen ice cream is we put the lid back on here and then we just drop in little droplets into the liquid nitrogen. And as the drop of liquid ice cream falls into the nitrogen, it instantly freezes, creating those tiny drops of ice cream. Bloop. Oh, and they float on the surface too. We'll just let the liquid nitrogen evaporate for a little bit. Then we get some of these little dot things. <laughs> so there was some liquid, there was some still some liquid nitrogen in there and I poured it on my hand and then I got it. It bit me. <clears throat> okay, let's eat them. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, so you know you know the feeling that you get when you lick a cold post outside in the winter and your tongue instantly freezes? <laughs> that literally just happened to us with freaking ice cream. <sighs> okay. Let's do it again. Okay. That was really cold. Let's try that. Wow. I don't think you want <laughs> Um Maybe don't put those chunks in your mouth. We're gonna let those warm up, I guess. Quite a bit. <laughs> While we're waiting for that, let's do another experiment. So warm air rises because it expands. Cold air contracts. So let's blow up a balloon and see how much we can make it contract. Salt. Salt. Okay. That air cool. is getting so cold. Look at that. And then if we just leave it right there. <laughs> it's just expanding because the air inside is warming up again. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look at that. So essentially right now the air inside of this balloon is at the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen. Cool. I don't know if I can eat that big of a John Jonathan. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh. oh. So it was like stuck in my tongue and then stuck in my teeth and then <laughs> stuck in my tongue again. <laughs> Nine out of ten people do not recommend this. And that tenth person is stupid. <laughs> so in the stores, they do this exact same process where they dip the ice cream into the liquid nitrogen. It forms these little balls. And then they warm up these balls back to something resembling zero degrees Celsius instead of negative 200. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Very cool. Though. Should we? I want to smash another flower. Okay. Maybe. This one, and this time we'll just have it right here, and we'll scoop it on. Okay, and then we just do this, and we'll. Okay, I'd like to revise something we said earlier. Now that the ice cream dots have warmed up a little bit, they are really good Fantastic. and they don't even hurt you. <laughs> mm. Well, I hope you guys had fun because we really did. This has been Destructive Creativity. Again, if you enjoy this or you enjoy this channel, make sure you subscribe, drop us a like, and let us know in the comments if you have any ideas for some cool science experiments. 
Till next time, I'm Jonathan. And I'm Eliana. <laughs> See ya. Jonathan. I've heard that if you eat a lot of them, you can blow smoke out your butt. <laughs> 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 Out your mouth is what I meant. Okay. <laughs> Not like that.